No Stomach for Government. The Purge 2013. No Stomach for Government. If you want to be involved in the Purge, you do want to listen to the government, but a lot of these purgers do not have the stomach for government, and they will just take over. They want to have their own government in hand here in the Purge and take over everything. Uh, I love how the Purge does things. It is so unique when it comes to government movies. You got no stomach for it. You better be in your house locked up when the Purge is happening, because if you got no stomach for government, that's what I recommend. Do not get involved in the Purge. Uh, stay out of it. The Manchurian Candidate 2004. I love this movie. Uh, no stomach for government is, is Mr. Raymond Shaw. You think his mother is shoving down, Meryl Streep is shoving this down like a Hillary Clinton versus Bill Clinton thing here, but it's fa his mother and the son. And uh, Denzel is going to interrupt this, of course, but due to the help by Raymond Shaw, who's under brain control, uh, mind control here, to be the Manchurian candidate. Uh, he's got no stomach for government, Mr. Raymond Shaw. He doesn't want to be like his dad at all. He doesn't want to take the reins for the next presidential candidate or president at that. He's willing to die and sacrifice himself because he knows he's a bad man. He still has something good in him. Wow, no stomach for government. The Ides of March 2011, Ryan Gosling here, um, you know, he wants to get into politics. He wants to run a campaign. Uh, you got this man, sleazy George Clooney, believe it or not, Mr. Senator here would have you running for something, a political position, but Ryan Gosling has no stomach for government. I feel this through this film. Uh, at the end, they try to say that he does. He's in front of the camera. Uh, after what has happened, you got to see this movie. A lot of drama, a lot of bad shit. He's willing to go for back for Clooney basically under the whim of what? False pretenses or a threat? But there's, there feels no threat or false pretenses here. Gosling is just not made for government. I feel like at the end here when he's staring at the camera and it's zooming he's just going to give it all up and quit and that's what he should do. He's got no stomach for government. Lincoln 2012. We know Abraham Lincoln Daniel Day Lewis here has stomach for government. Uh, the whole movie does. And I have some stomach for it as well but all these government people, the Senate uh, the House or what have you, trying to pass these laws that would definitely bring rights uh, to people that deserve it by nature and by just law. And that's what Lincoln tries to bring across to the government. He, but Lincoln has no stomach for government. That's what I love about him. He will not put up with these sources and these people, these groups of people saying what is right and what is wrong when clearly what is right is on the table and Mr. Lincoln has no stomach for the government. Valkyrie, 2008. Wow, Tom Cruise, Mr. Valkyrie himself, right? No, it's uh, Strasburg here. He, he's a soldier in the German army back in the 40s. He goes to the wolf lair. He doesn't like what Mr. Hitler's doing. He, he's going to take Adolf out. He dropped, plants a bomb. He's got no stomach for government. Mr. Valkyrie, Mr. Strasburg here, Cruz. I love that. I love the portrayal here that we, this is stories we need to know that really happened, that people were human there on the German side. And there was people that trying to do the right thing morale-wise, just based on morals. And this Valkyrie movie proves that, that Mr. Strasburg here had no stomach for the German government. No stomach for government.